Hello everyone, this video is about my summer internship project. I did my summer internship on K-means algorithm. To be more specific, I derived an incremental version of the existing K-means. Now before I discuss what K-means clustering is, I would like to explain what clustering is. Clustering is nothing but the classification of objects into different groups or more precisely the partitioning of a data set into subsets called clusters so that the data in each subset share some common characteristics. Often this clustering is done on the basis of distance measurement. So this was clustering. Now what is k-means? So to explain that I will take this example where my k is equal to 3 which means there are n points in my data set and I have taken three centroids which means in turn I am going to obtain three clusters at the end of the algorithm. So this is how the k-means algorithm goes. Firstly I select k points as initial centroids and in this case the selection has been done randomly. Next we form k clusters by assigning point to its closest closest centroid of each cluster then we recompute the position of the centroid of each cluster and this recomputation is done on the basis of the points that have been assigned to that particular cluster centroid this process goes on as we can see here from iteration 2 till iteration 9 until a point where no centroid shifts, shifts its position. We call that case as the problem has been converged. But what we observe is that in real life scenarios this convergence rarely happens that is some cluster of centroid or the other always changes, changes its position. So in that case, we what we do is we take a tolerance. That is, if I have 10 cluster centroids and my tolerance is 3, then if there is, a, there is any two consecutive iterations between which 3 or less than 3 centroids change their positions, I stop my program there. And that is uh, the final clustering that I have obtained. So this was my basic k-means. Now what is incremental k-means? Before I discuss incremental k-means algorithm, I would like to discuss its significance. Now the basic k-means, it works well and good for static data sets. But what happens if we have to add a point to the data set or we have to delete a point from the existing data set? That is, what happens if my data set is dynamic? In that case, is it beneficial to apply the original k-means on the modified data set again from the beginning? Or is it possible that we only simulate that we are applying the basic k-means on the modified data set again but what we are actually doing is we are using the clusters that were formed when the basic k-means was applied on the original data set and we consider the additional points separately. That is the points p1 till pn have been assigned to certain clusters on the basis of the basic k-means and the additional point its distance from all the k clusters has been computed and it is assigned to that cluster centroid to which it is closest now that cluster to which it has been assigned the additional point has been assigned that cluster is considered as disturbed now i would like to point out that once a cluster has been disturbed, it remains disturbed for the consecutive uh, iterations that come next. 
so in the next iteration instead of calculating the distance of each point from all the k centroids what i need to do is i just compare its distance from its previous cluster to which it was assigned to according to the basic k means and i compare that distance to the distance of the point p1 to the cluster centroid which has been disturbed due to the addition of the new point to the original data set now if this point is closer to the disturbed cluster this point moves out from this cluster to this cluster and as a result the previous cluster also becomes disturbed and both of the cluster remains disturbed in the consecutive next iterations so what we gained from this incremental algorithm was that instead of doing n into k number of recomputations i had to do n into k bar k dash times of recomputations here k dash is the number of disturbed clusters which basically helps us decide whether we should uh, use the k incremental k means or the basic k means what i mean to say is if k mean k dash tends to k that is the number of my disturbed cluster tends to k then it is observe that applying k means is better since to apply incremental k means i need to maintain an uh, an extra memory overhead so it is observed basically if um, my the my data distribution is normal or gaussian incremental k means is very effective but in other cases the uh, the this incremental algorithm fails so so this is basically the limitation of my project and uh, in future i would like to extend my algorithm to varied distributions of data sets so this is all that i did as a part of my summer project and yeah that's about it thank you